Welcome everyone! Welcome to another Let's Play! This is Metal Canyon and we'll be Let's Playing Jalopy! If you remember, I did a preview of this uh, game in pre-alpha quite a while ago, and it's basically a take your old rusty uh, Leica, I believe, this car, which is supposed to be like a, you know, East German Trabant, and drive it throughout the Eastern Bloc in those, uh, in those time. I, I think it's like in the Cold War times, thereabouts, and, you know, you have to repair the car and... I don't actually know what is the final, what is the point of the game in the end. I think you're supposed to go like on a vacation or something. Either way, you know, it's the journey that counts, not the destination, remember? Alright, so let's start a new game. Warning, starting a new game will erase your save data. Yes, let's start. If you remember, I actually, uh, I still, as I said, I did a preview and I still have the, uh, the save game from then. Ugh. Wake up! Ude Lüfti. Oh, he's supposed to be like, um, German then. Wake up! Ah, awake, finally! Hmm, stay in bed any longer and the day will make fools of us both. Come now, I have something important to show you. Come, come, it's just outside. So, we can look around. The sensitivity is a little bit off. Let me just... Just that. There we go. Accept. Thank you. That's a little better. Oh. That's our clock radio. My neighbor cannot afford clock radio. Great success. New for personal. Pe personal. There we go. Stay alert. In the, uh... In the Cold War style. There's... there's this, this here is a Leica 601 Deluxe. Something of an engineering legend in the GDR. 0 to 60 in 22.5 seconds, a top speed of 100 kilometers an hour, all set at the economical rate of 9 kilometers per liter. That's uh, really bad. That is, if we can get her running. Not so worry, I have everything ready. We'll just need to build her an engine, slap on some wheels, fit the passenger side door, and give her a bit of a clean. So, let's get started. With the replacement door, it's over on the top of that scrap pile behind you. I cannot decide if I should uh, give him a German or like a Russian accent. But it is... Oh, that's a Yuga. It's supposed to be like uh, East Germany, this, I believe. Uh, considering there was German writing there. Uh, if you squint, you'll be able to see it. So, I guess he'll be German. Alright, let's see. Maybe I should give him, you know, appropriate... I don't know, accents. I don't know, that's not gonna work. We'll see. Less than elegant, but it's on. Right, now let's fit the engine. Or as he says, <laughs> If you open the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that and that will release the bonnet. Can you see it? It's a black latch, it shouldn't be just under the steering wheel. It's not really black, well, sort of. That's it, you got it. Okay, now open the bonnet and I can walk you through this. There we go. Oh my god, it's beautiful. So, as you can see, she needs an engine. I've got a load of stock parts set in the garage. Go collect one and I'll work you through the, what it does. Oh, there they are. Battery, a 12 volt lead acid automotive battery that supplies electric energy to vehicle. Zero percent. The parts are set in the garage. Okay, here. Zero, what did it say? Zero percent charge plus one kilogram to weight. And there's cell value and stock ignition coil. Stock water tank, stock... Oh yeah, I can only hold three things, that's fine. That's the battery, which provides the electrical charge for your Leica. The battery allows you to use lights, the radio, the car ignition, that kind of thing. If your Leica won't start, the first place to check is the battery. Go ahead, drop it into the engine. You mean the bay. I mean, the bay. That's, that little thing is the ignition coil. The ignition coil channels an electrical charge to start the engine. An ignition coil that's in a bad condition may struggle to start the engine. Go ahead, drop it into there. There you go. That's the water tank, which provides the water to help keep, keep your windscreen clean from dirt. Keep it in good condition or it'll start to leak water and you'll soon find yourself driving without any vision. Alright, let's put it in there. There you go. Let's get the rest of this stuff. Can I... No, I can only sort of walk. 
All right, stock carburetor, there's a fuel tank, and the stock air filter. And that last thing, I think, is an engine. Right, that's the carburetor which controls the fuel consumption of the car, which in turn controls how many kilometers per liter you get out of your Leica. A good, well-maintained carburetor will mean you use less fuel and can drive further for cheaper. Go ahead. I wish they would use uh, liters for 100 kilometers. That big of lump of metal is the fuel tank, which holds the fuel of your Leica. A few notes on this one. First of all, it's gravity fed, so you'll need to open the bonnet and fuel directly to the tank when <laughs> refueling. Also, your Leica is running a two-stroke engine. This means you'll want to mix in some of the oil to, f to the fuel mixture. Fuel failure to mix oil into the fuel will mean the engine won't be lubricated and will wear at an increased rate. Too much oil, though, and you'll start to see performance drop. Keep your fuel tank well maintained. Let's get it too beaten up and it will start leaking fuel everywhere. That's not good. Well, let's get it in there. There you go. Okay, you're holding the air filter, a non-essential uh, non component. Well, I guess. The air filter isn't necessarily required to run your Leica, but it's a good idea to have one as it will reduce the rate of wear to your engine block. Go ahead. Top it. Alright, All right, let's get the... What I assume is the actual engine block. Yeah, stock engine. A small two-stroke engine with two cylinders comes as standard to all Leica 601 Deluxe cars. 22.5 seconds to... A <laughs> <laughs> Zero to 80, that's not even to 100 kilometers. Oh my god. That's funny. Alright. That's the engine block you've got there. The core of the Leica setup. The engine block defines core performance of your Leica, including top speed and acceleration. A poorly kept engine block will mean your Leica will struggle to perform. Go ahead, drop it in. Oh, there it is. Boom. Okay, that's everything installed. Good job. Now to fill it up. We're getting nowhere without fuel. There should be a can of fuel, a bottle of water, and a bottle of two-stroke oil in the garage. We still need to fill the car with petrol, oil, water. Okay. Juggling as easy as one, two, and click. Oh, you can... Ah, so if you're... <clears throat> let's see. So if I have... Ah, yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. One, two is the stuff I have on the left, and... You know, you just select what you want. Mist oil. Right, so here's the fuel. Good. That's a can of fuel you're holding there. If you use that on the fuel cap of the fuel tank we just installed, then you'll begin filling the car with fuel. Okay. So I'm assuming I can... Go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. I don't want to drop it. It probably still has... How do I drop it? Oh, middle mouse button. Ah, you've got a bottle of water. Good job. If you use that on the water tank we installed, then we can fill her with water. And of course, this is uh, air-cooled, I believe. Is that it? Oh, there we go. That's full. Go ahead and top that. That's a bottle of two-stroke oil you've in your hands. You'll want to add a drop of it to improve the fuel mixture, which affects things like performance and engine wear. A lean mixture will result in a faster car, but with increased wear to the engine. A heat mix will result in the opposite. Try using it on the fuel tank, a uh, full tank of fuel to affect the fuel mixture. Alright, so... Lean oil mix, okay. Go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. Oh, well, I suppose I don't have a choice. Excellent! Let's move on to the tires. Okay, let's go about getting some tires on the car. So as you can see, we won't get very far without any wheels. There's a car jack over in the garage. Bring it over and we can get started. Apparently, he just turned into a redneck or something. Car jack. And here's the road tires. Tires designed to perform best in the dry and on road. 450 kilonewtons of dry traction, a wet traction, and off-road traction. Soft compound. Okay. So here it is. Okay, place the jack under the car. Now just twist the handle. Oh. Now notice you can now use the tire iron, but first we'll need to fit the road tires. Go ahead and drop that. What? Drop what? Good, now just fit the road tire to the axle. Boom! There we go, and tighten the bolt with the iron. Oh, I do have it, okay. And now the same again for the other wheel. Mm, come on. What's going on? Oh, 
Because I don't have the wheel selected. Good, you can now drop the carjack down and we can do the same again on the other side. Uh, let me, well, yeah. Let me first jack the car up. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> That's fun that we'll have to be repairing it and maintaining and everything and it's just gonna keep breaking down, I suppose. Can you move a little bit, please? Your jacket is scaring me. No, no, no. There we go, perfect. That was a rooster. Okay, now let's see how she runs. I'll be in the car. You may want to load the trunk with any spares left of, uh, uh, in the garage. You can never be sure what you'll need on the road. Okay, let's take all this stuff. Let's also close the hood. Or the bonnet. There we go. <laughs> We're just putting all this stuff in there. How can I get rid of this? Wait, what? Where did it go? Did it go back? I'm assuming it went back to where it needs to be. Oh. Ah, it goes back on the jack itself. Okay. Of course, that makes sense. There we go. Are there any other spares? I don't see any other spares here. Leica. Total value by storage. What? Home storage. Oh! You can buy- oh, you can buy storage, and I'm assuming this stuff- no, no, no. This stuff will be available everywhere, you know, in garages. Let's see if we can, uh... That's locked. If we can find some spares here. Of course, we'll want to go through the trash for it. That looks like a water bottle, but... I suppose it's not. Look at that Yugo 45, I believe. And a Vardburg and all of that. Eastern block stuff. I don't think there's anything else, is there? No. And we cannot jump, so... Nope, that's it. Let's get out of here. Let's... Let's test this baby out. We got a little bit of water left. <laughs> it's just full of... <laughs> spare parts and such. Woo! Okay, before we set off, let's get you familiar with some... Components. Here we have the maintenance menu. Manual. It will cover the basics of running the car. In there, you will find information regarding a basic overview of the Leica vehicle, details of your current engine setup, listings of the cargo we are currently carrying, that sort of thing. You can turn the pages by selecting the top of the corners of each page. So this is a bit of uh, history. 1957, Soviet Union. Uh, Ambition and Perseverance launched the first being into orbit uh, space. Today we probably remember that name by enabling you to... Oh yeah, so it's named after the dog, isn't it? Your new car was... Yeah, because Laika was the... Um, was the dog that was sent into space by the Soviet Union. Information to help... Blah, 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 advice, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's see. Next page. Whoa, introduction. We'll have a look at through this later. For now, we'll go ahead and drop that. Okay. Next, you'll need a map. Where is the map? Oh, there it is. Thank you. This one is important, as it allows you to select which route you'll be taking between each destination. There we go. Route 1, 2, 3. So that's East Germany, I believe. That's a long route, and it's also pretty bad. Look at that. And that one is nice. It's the shortest, it's got fuel stations available, and it's sunny. <laughs> Once a route has been selected, uh, we are then committed to driving it. Uh-oh. And again, you can turn the pages by selecting the top corners. Uh, statistics, tracking, blah blah blah. You can have a look through that later. Go ahead and close that for now. And finally, the keys. Ooh. Thank you. If you just pop them into the engine, then she's all yours. Let's do that. Oh. <laughs> it sounds like a... Well, sort of a, like a Trabant. I like the fact that you actually need to, need to hold the key to start it. Yeah. Oh. That's... <laughs> and so begins our journey. Head towards Dresden. 
We'll be traveling the autobahns for the first parts. This should give you a chance to get to the grips with the Leica. Oh my god, it sounds like a... It doesn't... I take it back. It doesn't quite sound like a Trabant. It sounds like a chainsaw. <laughs> Which is not far from the Trabant. Oh my god, I think we're in the top gear now. Yeah, the, the, the speed is increasing at, like, in notches. It's a bit weird. Graphics are very interesting. It's all, like, garage shading. There's no really... No, no textures to speak of, in a way. Oh, now we're in Top Gear. Yeah! Power! Look at that. We're already done 926 with this Leica, apparently. What's that? Oh, it's just... Well, I can look all around. That's pretty good. Oh, there's cars! Oh, no, I don't want to slow down because it takes so long to get to 100. Well, we have to 80, I guess. Ooh. There's a bit of dirt. How are we even driving this? We've got no lights, no nothing. You know, it's a curious feeling. Being on the road again after such a... Ah! What happened? I didn't crash into that. Did I crash into the pole? Darn it. Being on the road again after such a long time. All those years in the GDR. Darn it, I must have done damage to my Leica. Oh my god, is that an X? I hope that's not a... Ooh. Oof. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving too far to the right. And I'm losing power, no! Actually, I'm not losing power, I just have no power. That's a problem. Look, I can do... Heat it. Oh, I can't switch it. What's that? Let's see. If there's any spare parts I can take. Heck yeah. Well, I actually do have lights apparently. Why are my headlights going instead of the blinkers? What? What? What is in there? Can I open it? Um, no. Well, that's a shame. I thought I could actually open this. Let's see. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> <gasps> wine! Oh, bloody hell! That's a lot of wine. Let's take it. I'm assuming you can't take this over the border without some customs control or something. Oh, this is so cool. Our first box of loot. Fermented grape juice. We'll just tell them that this is used for uh, car coolant. Engine coolant. There you go. I should probably... You know, just stop on the bloody Autobahn. Yeah! Wait. What? There's hazards over here and hazards over here? Is that a choke? It must be like a choke or something. Alright, pedal to the metal! How do I actually... Okay, let's do this. There we go, perfect! Stop. Um, oh my god! What's going on with the wipers? Stop them! Okay, so it's up to wipe. I know I wasn't born there, but I found a belonging I've not experienced at any other time in my life. Being what? What is going on? Be more careful. Ah, bloody Wartburg. I know I wasn't born there, but I found a belonging I've not experienced at any other time in my life. Being one of the people, like a family all working together for each other. Where I'm from, that was uncommon. Yeah, I'm not gonna do his accent all the time. <laughs> oh god, no power! Oh, that is full throttle. Ooh. Radio. Yeah. Oh, it's overheating, I think. Oh, it automatically pulls the... Uh, handbrake. There's another loot box there. And I didn't even have to pay money for it. What is it? <gasps> One wine. Again? This must have fallen, like, off a truck or something. We can sell it. Yeah. I'm hoping we don't get stopped by police or something. And It's a punishable offense. I've got all fours! 
Oh, we got hazards on it, the bloody Yugo. What do I do? The car is smoking. I don't think that's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, look at this acceleration going downhill now. Yeah. Power! Turn it down. Thank you. Well, with the wall down, it shouldn't be long till we see reuni reunification. A literal separation of people for what it has been 29 years? Yes, 29 years. Oh my. How much people must have changed? Oh yeah, the wall has been torn down and now we're taking a drive to, well, everywhere. I suppose. Oh, look at this. We're going over 80 now. No, we're not. Darn it. I think the engine is just going poof. I wanted to say we're going into the danger zone now, but unfortunately, nah. Why is it only coming from the actual radio? Did it really just have one speaker there? <laughs> I would believe that, but... <laughs> bloody hell. Let's try to find more of those, uh... We didn't think the division would ever escalate to what it did. But it did, practically overnight. How do I, um... Oh, let's see. Tankstelle, 10... M? 10 meters? It would be a good idea to stop for fuel. Okay, let's see. There's a fuel station. All new! Tires now available for purchase. Choose from slick. Slick? Wet or off road tires. Either soft, medium, or hard compound. Slick tires? What the hell? Oh, wait a second. I have to fill it up at the front. So can I can I just sell my wine bottles here, I suppose? Oh, we can all just... Used to clean a car of dirt and grime. Use the sponge in the bucket to clean away any dirt it collects. Oh, that's so cool. How do I... How do I... Uh, how do I use the sponge? Am I using it? I don't think I am. Oh, there we go. Wait. No. That's not it. Is it sponge there? Why can I not use a sponge? I don't understand it. Darn it. I still wanted to clean the car. Okay, let's see. Do we have any... Money? Oh. I need to actually pop pop the bonnet. Or pop the hood. There you go. I'm stuck. Now let's see. Why is this oh we have to repair it. How do we repair it? Huh! Oh no, put it back. Small air filter. Uh the fuel tank is not too happy either. Oh that's cool. All right. Ding, ding. What's going on there? Attention. Are they closing? Or is it because they're empty? I'm assuming because they're empty. All right, I need some oil. Uh, Two-stroke oil. No, it's behind there. Well, let's get the water, I suppose, as well. Because I don't think it's completely full. There we go. Perfect. And the lean oil mix. You know what? Ah, crap. I... <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. Time is advancing. Let's see if I can uh, sell some of these bottles. Maybe that's why they're closed. I hope they're gonna let us out. That would be quite nice. Hey, I bring bottles. Hey there. You look a little lost. Shopkeeper? Oh, I thought it said shopkeeper. Just pick whatever you need off the shelves and place it through this window. When you have everything you need, you can pay by using your wallet. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh, minus 51. There we go. Is he going to give me money for that? Textiles. A fabric to be woven. Why would I need that? 
Two stroke oil. I don't think I need it. Sausages. Do I need to eat? There's tires. How much are they? 20. Okay. There's fuel can. I suppose I should... Oh, engine repair kit. There we go. I should really buy that. No, wait a second. I thought I had one. Tire repair kit. I'll buy that as well. And I'll do this. You can pull that lever to cancel the transaction. What lever? Oh, this one? Yeah. So she's gonna hopefully pay me money for this. Uh, I'm gonna buy the tire repair kit and a fuel can for longer trips. Mm. There's a lot of stuff here. Wine. Uh, medicine. I suppose we should have this. I don't know. What awaits us? Oh, there's a car jack, but we already have that. Crowbar to open locked crates. I suppose I'll take that. I like the beep beep. Alright, that's it. How do I... Do I just leave? Uh, how, do I, how do I confirm this? It's still locked. Don't tell me she's not going to actually pay me money. I have to spend this much. Lady. Darn it. Can I look at that manual? Let's see if I can look at the manual. Uh, let's see. Uh, not that. Not that. Not stamp collection. No. None of this. Where was it? Was it in there? Oh, maybe I need to actually bring my v wallet. I wanted to say wallet. Basic operation specification. No, this is just for the cleaning. Ensure your like the legs. It's also important to keep water level stopped. It doesn't actually say how to clean it. Ooh. Okay, let me take his wallet. Or is that my wallet? I have no idea. Yeah, we probably need the wallet with us. And hopefully she's gonna pay us for all that lovely wine. There we go. Lovely. Oh, so we had 100 and now we have 176. Nice. Okay. Darn it. I need like a shopping cart or something. Yeah, I think that, that was a good buy. What do you think? I think that was rather smart. No, not that. Oh. Can I not not fit it? Uh. Uh. Oh. Okay. I need to sell more stuff, I suppose. Uh. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's another wine bottle. Oh, no. I have no space for this. Still no space. That's worrying. Okay, let's go sell all the wine bottles, because we can here. Thankfully, apparently the gas station accepts wine. Okay. <laughs> oh no! The tower, the leaning tower of wine. Of wine -a. Okay, so hopefully this will be enough. Oh, darn it. Come on. I already have one. I guess I can only have one? That's disappointing. Darn it. I guess I wasted my money on there, but... Oh, well. Let me just take my wallet. So we can get paid. I really like the whole... What is that bottle doing there? I really like how... Oh, he just left them here as I... Yeah. Yeah, I really like how everything's sort of a little bit complex. You know, you need to actually take your wallet and stuff. I'm afraid I can't afford to purchase that. Darn it! Now you tell me. Yeah. Can you purchase this as well? No. No. Okay, so that's that. Well, darn it. Well, it's not a huge deal. I mean, we kind of wasted... No, don't put it there. 
Yeah, I don't think the uh, the fuel can act, can actually go anywhere, because otherwise it would put it somewhere. Oh well, my fuel can. Sorry. I hope it's empty. Used to carry extra fuel. It doesn't say. Can I actually fill it? Well, not now because they're empty. Uh, all right, let's put the wallet back. I can hear those bloody mosquitoes. Horrible things. All right, so let me let me try cleaning my Leica one more time. Hmm, no, not really sure how I'm supposed to do that. Darn it! I want to clean the Leica. I suppose that's not dirt then. It's actual uh, damage on the windscreen. I don't know. Either way. We have to leave. Put it right back. There we go. Alright. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you are enjoying this. This is going to be an interesting uh, journey through the Eastern Bloc. After the fall of the Berlin Wall. There's the mist. -er. And, uh, yeah. We're going to have some fun. Thanks for checking it out. Check out my Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe. And, uh... Well, you can like this video if you like it, or dislike it if you disliked it. And if you're subscribed, don't forget to also click on that bell icon to receive more updates. I'll see you next time in part two of Jalopy. Bye-bye.